Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with the highway engineering in the topic of highway transportation design. So the first question, geometric design of highway does not include option A cross section elements, option B intersection elements, option C side distance considerations, option D pavement thickness design. So the correct answer is option D pavement thickness design. So next question. Minimum design speed for national highway passing through rolling terrain is dash kilometer per hour. Option A 100, option B 65, option C 80, option D 75. So the correct answer is option B 65. So next question. The design speed for urban arterial road is dash kilometer per hour. Option A 55, option B 60, option C 65, option D 80. So the correct answer is option D 80. So next question, dash terrain has dash percentage cross slope, option A plane and 10 to 25, option B rolling and 0 to 10, option C plane and 0 to 10, option D rolling and 25 to 60. So the correct answer is option C plane and 0 to 10. So next question, the value of lateral coefficient of friction is dash as per Indian Roads Congress. Option A 0.55, Option B 0.15, Option C 0.25, Option D 0.35. So the correct answer is Option B 0.15. So next question, the unevenness of payment surface is commonly measured by using a simple equipment called Option A pump integrator, Option B British pendulum tester, Option C profometer, Option D none of the above. So the correct answer is Option A pump integrator. So next question, the value of longitudinal coefficient of friction ranges from option A 0 0.10 to 0 0.30, option B 0 0.25 to 0 0.30, option C 0 0.05 to 0 0.25, option D 0 0.35 to 0 0.40. So the correct answer is option D 0 0.35 to 0 0.40. So next question, a camphor of 1 in 33 is provided for dash passing through heavy rainfall area, option A gravel payment. Option B Ethan payment, Option C CC payment, Option D bituminous payment. So the correct answer is Option A gravel payment. So next question, what must be the height of crone of the Ethan road of width 5.5 meter passing through heavy rainfall area? Option A 0 0.22, Option B 0 0.11, Option C 0 0.08, Option D 0 0.06. So the correct answer is Option B 0 0.11. So next question, carriageway width is not depend on option A, width of traffic lane, option B, number of traffic lanes, option C, thickness of payment, option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option C, thickness of payment. So next question, dash meter is considered as the standard width of vehicle for designing the width of carriageway. Option A, 2.5, option B, 3.75, option C, 3.5, option D, 5.5. So the correct answer is option A 2.5. So next question, dash meter width of the single lane is case of multi-lane payments. Option A 3.75, option B 3.65, option C 3.60, option D 3.50. So the correct answer is option D 3.50. So next question, the IRC recommends a minimum desirable width of dash of the medians of rural highways. Option A 3 meter, option B 5 meter, option C 3.5 meter, option D 4.5 meter. So the correct answer is option B 5 meter. So next question, the height of mountable curb is option A 50 mm, option B 20 centimeter, option C 100 mm, option D 15 centimeter. So the correct answer is option C 100 mm. So next question, the minimum solder width recommended by IRC is option A 3.5 meter, option B 2.5 meter, option C 2.8 meter, option D 3.2 meter. So the correct answer is option B 2.5 meter. So next question, in India the outward minimum slope of the solder for earthen surface is dash steeper than the pavement camper, option E 0.5 percentage. Option B 1.2 percentage, option C 0.7 percentage, option D 1.5 percentage. So the correct answer is option A 0.5 percentage. So next question, dash is the sum of width of payment or carriageway including separators if any and the shoulders. Option A traffic way, option B carriageway, option C right of the way, option D roadway. So the correct answer is option D roadway. 
So next question, which of the following is correct? Option A, ISD equal to 2 into SSD. Option B, HSD equal to 2 into ISD. Option C, SSD equal to 2 into ISD. Option D, OSD equal to HSD. So the correct answer is option A, ISD equal to 2 into SSD. So next question, for the purpose of measuring SSD, IRC has suggested the height of the I level for the driver as option A 1 meter, option B 1.5 meter, option C 1.2 meter, option D 0.8 meter. So the correct answer is option C 1.2 meter. So next question, driver's reaction time of dash seconds is considered for the determining SSD. Option A 2.2 seconds, option B 2.5 seconds, option C 2.1 seconds, option D 3.5 seconds. So the correct answer is option B 2.5 seconds. Next question, the maximum value of super elevation is limited to option A 0.07, option B 0.70, option C 0.007, option D 70.0. So the correct answer is option A 0.07. So next question, on hill roads not bound by snow maximum super elevation up to dash is recommended. Option A 7%, option B 4%, option C 10%, option D 12%. So the correct answer is option C 10%. So next question, from practical consideration, it is suggested that the super elevation should be provided to fully counteract the centrifugal force due to dash of the design speed. Option A 75%, option B twice, option C thrice, option D 50%. So the correct answer is option A 75%. So next question, a two-lane road with design speed 80 km per hour has horizontal curve of radius 480 meter. Design the rate of super elevation for the mixed traffic. Option A 5.9%, option B 0.59%, option C 9.5%, option D 0.95%. So the correct answer is option A 5.9%. Again we will see next video. Thank you.